Hello again. Um, for this video, I'm going back to the new character I set up, uh, Golf Star Dan's name, and I've leveled him up to level 15. Just have a look at how he's sitting at the moment. Um, you level up really quickly, um, and his stats have improved a little bit. He's driving it around about seven, eight yards further than he was, and his control and impact has gone right up. Um, we've also acquired some more equipment, so I've got a slightly better set of clubs. I've got possibly the worst bag you could get, and not far off the worst set of club covers. Each of them has increased my stats at this stage. These are quite significant changes. Um, I've also, as one of the missions, acquired some lucky box tokens. Normally, these give you a pretty ser terrible set of clubs, but there's a chance I'll get something a bit better, so I may as well roll this now. Um, oh, hang on. Let's tell me my locker room's full. I'm not going to spend 5,000 GP to increase the size of it. Um, I think it's talking about this locker room, so I'm just going to get rid of these focus drinks to make a bit of room. Let's go back to the lucky box. Try it again, see what it's going to give me. And <laughs> we're jokingly in the guild, uh, the Brit drivers call these tokens, lucky box tokens, rose pink tokens, because you get these clubs so often. Um, they're not the best, but compared to what I've got, I think they're probably better. Let's just check. So the ones I'm currently using are these, so they're 8, 10, 8, 4. These rose pinks are 12, 9, 9, 6. There are slightly more stats. Um, probably about 7, 8 more stats. Problem I'm going to have though, if we have a look at how I'm currently sitting as far as the balance of my stats goes, um, I've been up in my impact and control um, with every set of stats I get. Now, if I equip those clubs I've just got, which are more heavily weighted for power than control, that's going to have a detrimental effect on the, let's just do it, on the other areas. I didn't want to power it up, excuse me. If we go back to have a look at the stats now, we'll see that actually the impact and control have dropped. The driving distance has jumped up quite a lot. Um, so I'm going to keep these. Um, I'll kind of live with the, the drop in the impact and control zone because I can drive it a bit further. I'm going to have a little go at 1v1. Not tried as this character yet. Um, I believe, I've never actually tried or compared, but um, I believe that until you're level 20, you won't come up against anyone above level 20. So there's actually a chance I could do all right at the 1v1. I'm also, because I've got um, level 15 now, going to learn some new skills and maybe increase the skills I've already got. If I can actually increase my draw shot to 1,000 GP. Um, I've not got a fade shot yet, so I'm going to learn that. There's a 500. High shot I've not yet got, so I'm going to learn that. And I can actually learn level 2 of that as well. High shot's really useful for approach shots early on. Um, you're not going to get backspin for a little while. And any iron shot, it's going to slow the ball down when it hits the green. It's not going to shoot forward as much as it did. Not going to worry about low shot yet. Uh, chip shot, I can now increase my abilities with it. Um, pitch shot I'll leave for now. I haven't yet got a flop shot. And I can also improve my rough shot. Just get rid of that. Rough shot and bunker shot. So I'm a lot better suited now. Um, I have a better chance when we go online in the, in the 1v1 games. Um, initially, GP is really hard to come by. When you're first starting out, you're going to want to throw as much of it as you can into these skill shots. Once you've got them up to a certain level, we can then start looking at buying outfits to increase stats and I'm actually going to grab a few now because I've got quite a lot of GP for this for this level. Uh, so if I go into the shop and into clothing, I'm still early on, I could probably get three, four, five outfits to give my stats a boost. I can probably balance them out a bit. I might even get to the level where I can increase my power a little bit as well. I don't think I'll get there yet. Let's uh, get these outfits first 
want to keep a little um, little bit of GP in the bank um, so I can improve my skill shots as and when I need them. Um, I'm going to keep going actually get a few more. So I leave myself kind of 30, 40 thousand GP. I'll get one more. And oh, why not? We'll get that one more as well. So a whole new wardrobe. If we have a look at that effect of that from buying all those outfits, I've now got 35 stats to play with. Um, there is an auto set button here. What that does is it tries to balance out your stats. It gets your impact and control zone up to 90%. Your stamina always needs to be half of power. So if we click on auto set here, we have actually improved um, control and impact right up to 89% or 89 on control, 90 on impact. And it's given us a little bit extra driving distance as well. Um, you can balance these as you see fit. Some people put a lot more into power, leave impact low and trust that they're going to hit the line. Um, you know, balancing that off with the inc increased power, that can be a risk worth taking. Um, also, you can use drinks to make your impact zone bigger. Um, personally, as with my other account, I try and keep these as balanced as possible. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. And the other thing I'm going to do before I go online Distance is really a premium. Um, I have acquired a few T's as part of the, the mission. They're going to add 10 yards on your driving distance. So if you can afford to use them, it's worth doing. Equally, these balls, the pink ones, are going to give us five extra yards. So that can you know, bring me up to the level of somebody who's got a bit more um, in the locker. So this will be interesting. Let's see what happens as we go online. Um, we go to a 1v1 match. People will probably be delighted to play me. But again, I don't think I'll be playing anyone over level 20. Um, so, it's an unknown quantity, really. I've got no idea how this is going to go. It might take a little bit longer to find someone if it is looking for people only under level 20. There's obviously less of them around. It doesn't take long to, to hit level 20. Um, so, there's far few players uh, available from a pool for me to pick from. Usually you'll pick up a player within a few seconds. Um, let's see how this goes. And pretty much as soon as I stop that video, this guy's turned up. So we have got an opponent now. Again, total unknown quantity. Um, he's going to be a fairly new player to the game to be matched with me at under 20, I believe. Um, so, no idea how this is going to go. I shall do my best. No power shot, so a draw is going to maybe give me a one or two extra yard um, distance on my drives. I mean, it's a par five hole, so par is probably a decent target for this uh, golfer. Was a birdie if we can get fairly close with this shot is a possibility but there's a long way to go and without many uh, shots in the arsenal without much power in the arsenal it's a bit of an ask let's see how we do wanting to be within iron distance of the green but uh, i think that's probably going to be a wood shot in fact it certainly is so if we go back to here roll on quite a bit just about get away with an iron here actually there's a little bit more control we'll notice it's kicking off to the left so I'm going to go about here I would normally go kind of 16 to the right but because that wind's pushing it back the other way then it's uh, going to count counteract that get the best of contacts it's going to be on the green just want it to slow down He's there for five, so I've got a chance if I can put this in to go one shot up. Let's see what happens. And in she goes, there's a good start. Golfer Dan, golf star Dan. It's his first 
birdie on line. I'm looking for the first 1v1 win. I've just acquired, acquired a fade shot. With my golfer, with full stats, I'd be looking to fade it around the trees and make the green here. Um, I'm not sure we'll get anywhere near that. We're not going to bother with the fade. I'm just going to hit it hard around the middle of the green, uh, middle of the fairway. to catch a perfect shot. Perfect shots are useful in 1v1 games as I've mentioned previously because they do give you more points than a standard shot and if you've got a tie at the end of a round those points are taken into account. Okay. I'm going to put this somewhere fairly close. looking pretty good and another birdie I oh, should be be willing, winning this one uh, 1v1 games come in sets of three holes so the way it works is you'll play three holes and then both of you will have the option to continue to play up to up to nine holes so three lots of three you tend to find if you've beaten someone, they, they walk away with a tail between their legs. Depends on their character, I guess. Um, we'll see what this guy does. I'm going to actually try a high shot here if I've got the distance. Um, you know, still a bit short, unfortunately. So the ball's going to run right on. This green slopes away from you, so it's difficult to judge um, where the ball's going to end up. It's going to go off to the right with the wind, but the slope of the green's going to kind of draw it back to the left once it lands. Um, it's... Gonna, I would normally go seven feet past the pin for that gradient, but um, on this occasion, I'm gonna actually come back a little bit, and I'll be honest, I'm not 100% where this is gonna end up. It shouldn't be too far away, and I'm not too worried because I've got that two shot advantage. So two puts will get me a par, uh, which is fine. That's not too bad wind didn't have as much an effect as I thought it would. Um, again, as I've said before, the good thing about golf style, there's so many factors affect your shot. Um, if I'd hit a high shot there, the wind would have had more of an effect. Obviously, if you're hitting it hard and low, it's not going to move as much with the wind. And it works pretty well. I think the physics of the game are actually really good compared to other golf games I've played. They're very consistent. Um, you can usually guess quite accurately where it's going to end up if you take the time to factor in all the different uh, elements that can be affecting your shot. Um, so that's, as we thought, a fairly comfortable par, which gives me two shot lead, and we'll see if he wants another six holes, or another three holes first. I've got a slight driving distance advantage on him, actually, at the moment. We'll give him a clap, butter him up a bit. Do you want another game? thinking about it and he's decided he's ready at the last minute not sure if that's just the way the game works actually sometimes you get a big pause before it comes up as ready but uh Either way, we've got another three holes against this guy. Um, we've actually got a slight distance advantage on him, despite the fact we've only just started out. Must have uh, well, I've got those tees, which probably are the difference, I would guess, and the uh, the pink balls we're using. Again, this is another par five. The whole way you'd be looking to get really close to the green. Um, once you've got all the outfits, got all the stats, and got a lot more power, but as it stands. All I'm doing is, is really just inching up the fairway, trying to get an approach shot in with my third shot. Despite the fact that I've unlocked all these skill shots, I haven't used any of them yet other than the draw. Um, we'll use a high shot here, so we can see um, how that works. It's a standard shot, but it just travels a bit higher in the air, basically. Um, put this round about here. This green slopes heavily front to back, so it's gonna. You can see red means higher again, so 
uh, the ball isn't going to roll past the pin at all really so I'm not worried about um, you know, leaving it to, to run a long way together with the fact I'm running a, um, I'm playing a high shot um, then it's probably going slightly past the pin but it won't be too far away that's good it did actually because it caught the rough that took all the pace off it um, finished in a lovely position so I'm not going to grumble about that I actually just noticed the other guys disconnected um, I think he might have just uh, given up at the end of the last round and it said he was ready I think it might you know if you don't say you're not ready by leaving the screen if you just kind of turn your device off I've got a feeling it might just uh, just make you play it basically this is a tricky one, I can actually only just reach the fairway there. Um, so for par 4, which this is, getting onto the green with the next shot is going to be a real challenge. I'm not going to play a draw, because the angle it comes at, I'm not quite sure, I think this is quite a big hill here and it could bounce and go down, so I'm really just going to be as straight as I can for that area there and, and hope for the best that we actually make the fairway here. I hadn't recalled this being such a tricky shot. It's just trickling on. So 196 yards, it's right up uh, in the air of the green, as we see. So actually reaching this is going to be a huge challenge. I'm probably going to need to hit it as hard as I can. Uh, 94, obviously divided by 3, it's going to give us 31 um, yards past, which, as it stands, I can go 3 yards past. So basically I'm not going to get on the green here. Um, so a par would be... A fantastic result not much point playing a draw shot I'm just gonna basically hit it in the middle of the fairway um, because it's such a big hill it might actually run back down the fairway a bit and see what it does managed to hold it there so I'm within 47.2 yards now this gives us an opportunity to have a look at the flop which we haven't yet done so despite the fact I unlocked it Flop is a really useful shot. Um, to be honest, once within you're within distance, you'll be using flop pretty much all the time. Um, it's going to kick off to the right a little bit. So, as we can see as well, that gradient at the bottom right, it's it's up 18 degrees. Um, so it's going to a flop will always go quite high anyway, and that's going to make it go higher again. So it's going to go right up in the air. Um, if we go seven pass to account for the maybe eight pass to, to account for the height of the green and then the angle of the ball i'm going to hit it a bit harder again you know what in fact i can't hit it as hard as i want to do this will finish front of the green but you will see the the way the ball flies for a flop shot so i'm hitting this full blast and if we look at it it's going right up in the air and that's finished up okay actually i thought that would be well short there are little differences, obviously. I'm not used to playing with a golfer with this low stats. Um, as you increase stats, you'll be able to flop it to around about 90 yards. His maximum there was 60. So it looks as though vid 466591 has given up. So we'll just finish off. Um, useful again, just to see different shots now I'm choosing the higher shot despite the fact it looks like I can't reach the pin there it's 99 feet below us so I'd be taking off around about 26 feet which would take me down to here um, it is also going to roll on a little bit it is a high shot so it's going to roll on less than than a standard shot but I'll still uh, with a five iron knock about five off my um, power five yards is okay and so I've actually taken off par too much uh, the high shot has dropped not dead on the green but it's uh, it's not rolled on much at all as we can see most of the reason for that is we've got an uphill slope to the green now to the pin so just going to hit this fairly firmly the left hand side of the hole and that was a bit too hard that's one risk of hitting it firmly at the hole 
it's good because it takes the break off it. But as in real life, you know, if you belt a little ball at a tire, a slightly bigger hole, um, hit it too hard, it's going to go over the top of it. It's fairly realistic. So there we go. Two games, two wins. One of them against nobody, which isn't much of an achievement, but we did win the first one. And we're consuming for six holes there, seven hearts. If we'd been playing six holes in single player, that would have been ten. So we're using less hearts for the same reward. One benefit of, of playing online. And it's leveled us up. So we've got an extra couple of stats, an extra heart, an extra five hearts, and an extra coin. This double chance here, we're not going to be able to do. If I try and do it, it'll tell me I need to purchase VIP membership to do it. Um, one of the benefits of that is you get the pass for double chance. And we can see the other benefits here as well. So we'll leave those, we'll get those seven hearts back that it was going to use. And there we go. So I'll stop that there for now. It's dragging on a bit. Um, if you are watching and enjoying, please comment. Um, if you prefer, at the moment I've got two camps. I've got the um, the new player, kind of getting started, which is what we're using at the moment. Um, I'm using my other player to do walkthroughs of kind of 50 from uh, courses at the moment. I've already posted an Aztec one. Um, I've got a few more in the pipeline. If there's anything else that you'd uh, like to see, again, please comment. And thanks for watching.